I can really start to get dive deep into my data. What's more important here is really trying to understand the different correlations between the different activities in my life. So for instance, I can drag and drop my stress into the dashboard, the, the disco will be called, and break down my stress over time. I can say I've spent about 85% of the last year in a relatively elevated level of stress. Um, I can also see that breakdown uh, or that trend view over the course of the last year and see that May and July were kind of my two peak periods in stress. I can then cross-reference that with things like my calendar and see whether or not there's a correlation, right? And here, I personally know the story. In May, we were fundraising, so there was a whole ton of meetings and stress kind of peaked. In July of last year, we were closing the round, so much fewer meetings, but much, much more stressful, as you can imagine. What's more important here from a medical perspective is, is seeing how my stress may be affecting my blood pressure. And these are all actually recorded data points. They're coming in from different sensors, right? And I can see there's an actual positive correlation between stress and blood pressure. Now, this is something that I can share with my doctor. I've given her access to this through our application, and she can actually have a much better degree of my state of health based off of this data. I can then further go into trying to figure out what aspects of my life may be causing my stress and thus my blood pressure to peak, right? Because I'm not at the stage in my life where I should be taking blood pressure medication. So interestingly enough, I can drag and drop things like my emails, which is a lot of data, so it takes a few seconds to look up, and see if there's an actual correlation. So months that display peak email sending are also correlated uh, uh, positively with, with, with blood pressure, right? I can then dive deeper into things like my email and see, for instance, over the course of the last week, how my emails break down, at what time of day I tend to send most of my emails, clearly I'm, I'm not really sleeping very well, and the people in my life causing me the most stress. <laughs> Even more importantly, which is really where, the, where the, the personalization or individualization of the experience starts to take form, I can drag and drop my calorie consumption into here and see what kind of an impact my stress may be having over my calorie consumption. Each of us is different, right? Each of our physiologies are really different. So in this case, I personally tend to consume fewer calories or fewer food I forget to eat when I'm stressed out. And so the platform starts to learn from me. It literally starts to take in all these different data sets. And through algorithms, it starts to present me with content that is completely individualized to my own data, my own experience. So by myself pulling in this data, I can start to not only understand the, the different aspects of my life that make me tick, but also the content module learns from me and starts to send me messages or recommendations of, of when I should be eating, things I should be doing. During periods of high stress, it will remind me to relax, calm down, take a chill. So basically, what we're doing here is, through the consumerization of health, we're helping to individualize the, the notion of interventions across different conditions. And this can be everything from daily well-being, but also to much more chronic condition management. We've got projects for diabetes, migraines, chronic bronchitis, uh, uh, hypertension, asthma. Individuals can actually create these projects or subscribe to these projects and use them to better understand what specifically is guiding their condition management. Now, we ran a study. Um, over, uh, over 500 diabetes patients, um, what was amazing to us is that 25%, one of four of the people that use it, agreed that tick track helped to influence changes they plan to make with their diabetes management, right? We had 87% daily active users. 87% of those people were on our site every day managing their diabetes. 67% added more than 10 data points per week. 10% added more than 80 data points per week. And these are, the ones that were added were added manually, we're not including things like my fitness pal that is pulled in through a third party device. This is actually manual adding through our device, uh, through our web and our mobile device. Most importantly is a behavioral change. 30% of people in the beginning claimed to monitor their calorie consumption, 54% actually did on tip track, 30% monitored their exercise, saying that they monitored their exercise, 60% actually did on tip track. So we're helping to affect, actually affect behavioral changes. And even the, the type of data that we generate was much broader and much much better quality than just your typical uh, research. We were able to get 40% of the data was actually people's food and drink consumption. We went further than that and provided actually, in this case, the NHS, with a dashboard that enabled the actual uh, doctor to be able to monitor the, the different conditions of their patients. So each, each one of them, each doctor has their own template, they can create their own templates for different condition management, share them with their patients, and their patients can remotely access their projects, monitor the different conditions, and both of them can convene online to visualize their behavior and their condition management on a regular basis, enabling consumers to have a much much greater degree of control over their, their condition management, enabling doctors to be able to manage their time better with, the, with their patients through these remote channels. 
So, in conclusion, our, our focus at TIGTRAP is really centered around health. We hope that will enable people to take control of their health, lead happier, healthier lives, and be able to prolong their health and, and the need for healthcare for as long as possible. Thank you very much.